Hey Oscar, are you excited for the Aliexpress haul? Welcome back to my channel. I've got a AliExpress haul to share with you today. There are eight packages in this haul and they're all from absolutely ages ago so as usual I have no idea what's in any of them but even more so than usual I have no idea what's in any of them. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do please give it a big thumbs up and also go and check out my playlist for lots more videos like this one. Without further ado let's start opening some of these packages. So I found these recently and I thought they were very cool. They are essentially little wooden pieces with clear resin. So these ones are hearts. I think they come in quite a few different shapes and lots of different colours as well. They are a little bit pricey but I think these are more on like a higher quality embellishment. I imagine it's probably a bit more difficult to make these than some of the other things that are on AliExpress. You've got two different materials here that you have to combined together quite seamlessly so I mean I wouldn't even know where to start with making these and I just thought they were really cute I'm not sure what I'll use them for maybe stick them on a card as embellishment they'd be great on a scrapbook layout you can make jewelry with these and I've got three different colors I got the yellow I got this sort of teal color and then like a neutral beige and I just thought they were really pretty. As with all of my videos, all the links to the products will be in the description box so if you want to go and check any of them out that's the place to go. Hey buddy. This is another wax seal stamp for the collection. This one is a B and then it's got a honeycomb pattern in the background. I think I ordered this one months ago. I didn't think it was gonna come, um, but it has. And I just really like the detail on this one. It's something a little bit different. So we have got two different things in here. First are these little snowflakes. They are silver backed little plastic pieces and then it looks like they've got like a resin overlay and they are a little bit iridescent really cute little snowflake really nice to have little tiny embellishments especially for cards I think these will be really really cute for Christmas cards and there are 200 pieces in that bag you can probably see a little bit better how iridescent they are lots of very reflective these ones and then in here these are some gems, but they're a little bit different to some of the gems I've bought before because most gems have like a silver back and these are just coloured. So I think they're referred to as like jelly gems. Uh, I guess that's kind of what they reminded me of, but I really wanted some like this in lots of different colours and I didn't want thousands of just one colour. So I thought this would be the perfect set to just build my stash of different colours for my cards. So those are really really pretty this is quite a stuffed package huh so so the first thing i've opened is these adorable little clay rainbows i think these are just so cute and you get quite a few in the bag these look like they are probably handmade they, i mean they aren't perfect but anything handmade is not going to be perfect so i thought they were really adorable and cute and uh, they're quite flat as well so they'd be quite good to use on cards the only bumpy bit is this little cloud here and I still don't think that's you know particularly chunky it's not too chunky for me to pop on a card so those are adorable also in here I've got these three bags of absolutely tiny little neon gems again these have got the solid color backs to the gems so you get a really really nice color showing through I went for the yellow, the hot pink and the lime green. I think those are 
so much fun so bright and shiny and sparkly and the rest of this package so i found these little beads on aliexpress these little flowers and i just was obsessed with them <laughs> i just wanted to get all of the colors i didn't get all of the colors but i did get quite a few <laughs> The thing that I thought about these that they were really pretty is that they've got these iridescent insides and they're really 3D as well, if you can see that. They'd be really great for making your own beaded jewellery, but also I thought they would look lovely on cards just with like a little bead like glued in the middle or a tiny sequin or a gem or something like that just to make really cute little flower embellishments for your cards. So I got the mint green colour, which is really nice. Also the peach. The peach looked kind of golden inside, I thought that was really pretty. I've got two different shades of pink, one hot pink and one more like mauve colour. Then I got a white which is a classic and then this sort of yellowy beige colour which is really nice. And then these ones as well, so these are black on the outside but then inside they're this really gorgeous gold, blue and green colour really pretty those i think those are my favorite these were a little bit pricey i thought of aliexpress but um you get quite a lot in the bag and i just waited for them to go on sale um <laughs> they're really pretty i'm really pleased with these so that's quite a fun little package got a couple of stamp sets in this one so this first one is all about drinks and i really like the art style on this one there's some really nice glasses the sentiments on this one we've got may your smoothie kick in before reality does each day is a fresh start there's lots of little fruit stamps as well to accompany all the big glasses and the other sentiments are eat good look good feel good drink up buttercup bottoms up have a refreshing day refreshing is actually spelt wrong down here it says refreshing <laughs> you are beautiful and drink your greens and did i say bottoms up i can't remember if i did i really liked these glasses i just thought they would be really fun to color in um either with watercolor or with alcohol markers so that one's really really nice and i've also got this one which is another drinks themed set so this one you've got the outline stamps for the glasses and then you've also got the stamps to stamp the drinks inside which i thought was quite fun it's quite a modern style this stamp set as well so i thought that was something a little bit different and um always always handy to have these kinds of stamps for birthday cards so quite pleased with those two sets and then the other thing in here is this stencil set um, now this is a layered stencil set now some of you might have seen i've done a couple of videos on how to use layering stencils so if you haven't seen those i will link those in the cards for you to watch um, and this is another layering stencil set so this one is meant to be sprinkles i'm not sure what order they go in to be honest with you have a play around with these and see what order they go in but they are essentially three layers of sprinkles and you can use embossing paste with these you can use glitter paste you can use ink blending obviously you could just use the one stencil if you wanted to or two or all three so really it's up to you i really like layering stencil sets and i've been having a lot of fun with them lately yeah nice little package there Quite a chunky one. Got these adorable little cat puppy stickers. Aren't they cute? Lots of cats and hearts, and they're all like chunky puppy stickers. Got a few of these. Now, these are something I had not actually seen before, and they are little laser cut wooden pieces with messages on. I think there are a few more, but I just got the three that I really liked. And I thought these would be really, really fun to make a card with. I think they have actually included in here a card for you to stick it on and an envelope, which is pretty cool. Yeah, each set also has a card and an envelope. You could make this into a little piece of art. You could paint it. You could use alcohol markers on it. Somebody suggested in my comments that they actually use alcohol markers on wooden pieces. So thank you to whoever suggested that. That is a great idea. You could use acrylic paint. You could use embossing powder. I've done that before. That is, looks really, really nice. So these would make great card, card fronts, um, but also nice little pieces of art and gifts as well and they were really affordable as well i think they were like around a pound each or something which is quite 
reasonable in my opinion and I really like the uh, font styles so those are pretty fun again the links to those and everything else will be in the description box if anyone wants to go check them out and then so I think these might be packs of paper yeah so we'll have a little flip through these shall we just a quick one this is a green themed pack and they're all on sort of handmade style paper that's a nice liner cut themed one some really nice patterns in here a lot of texture great if you're into art journaling these would make great backgrounds on cards as well or even if you're just into into normal journaling creative journaling i think these would be a great addition to your stash or happy mail as well really nice i love the texture on these so that's a really nice set like that and then it looks like i got the yellow set as well so i imagine there was probably a lemon in here somewhere <laughs> Again, some really nice good mix of modern and like more traditional prints in here which i think is really nice some really nice colors that's a nice one Really pretty. Lots of flowers. That one's lovely. Hey, there wasn't a lemon one in there after all, was there? <laughs> so yeah, nice little mixed package there. Oh, there's a few in here. These are little bows tiny bow in the middle with a little pearl in the center really like the detail on these which is why i've got two different colors i just thought they were so cute you can use them as they are as a ribbon or you could cut each individual bow and use it as a bow i think they would work well either way so this is a roll of painters tape from Paul Rubens apparently. Um, don't really have any painter's tape and it comes in very handy when you're doing watercolour painting so I thought I would grab this as it's specialist painter's tape. Kind of hard to find in Britain, I don't know where everyone gets it. Um, if you have any recommendations for where to get painter's tape uh, or if it's called something else in Britain, it might be, then please let me know in the comments. Here we go, this is the last one for today. Well, okay, it had uh, it had two more inside, so maybe it wasn't the last one. <laughs> so I've got these adorable little die sets. These ones are little ink pots. And what I want to use these for is actually to make like a swatch folder. So I thought I could cut these out and then put inks, the inks that I have on them. And that would make the swatch book look really, really pretty. And then the same for paints. So these are little paint tubes. I just thought that would be so much fun and way more fun to look at than just like little strips of paper. So yeah, I just thought that would be really, really fun. Those are really nice. I think I've bought from this store before. I like their dies. They look, they look really good. I love how they send you more than one as well. So this is going to make it really easy when I want to do my swatches because I can cut them much, much quicker than if I just had one of each die. So that's really handy. And this is an unusually chunky package. Is this? So there is this to-do list pad, which is in the shape of tags. I thought this is, I mean, this is great as a to-do list, but I thought it would also be quite fun as supplies for junk journaling or scrapbooking or something like that. I think that would be really fun to use and then there's a mysterious box here ah yes i know what this is this is a a little bookend to stop your notebooks falling over or something similar to that it's a little wooden one i thought it would be handy sometimes i have little stacks of notebooks and stuff to just keep them a little bit more corral corralled it's a funny word i don't think i've ever said that one before 
that's everything in my AliExpress craft haul today. I do hope you enjoyed watching. Let me know in the comments which was your favourite product and if you're going to go and grab any of these off AliExpress. All of the links to these products will be in the description box if they're still available. And don't forget to check out my AliExpress haul playlist if there's any that you've missed and you want to catch up on. So many of you have been telling me that you've been binge watching that playlist recently. I'm so happy that you all enjoy it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more because I do a video like this every single month. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.